everyone and welcome to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to talk about free to play first person shooter games. Now there has been some very interesting games and there's also been some other games I've been hooked on to like No Tomorrow and I feel like that game itself needs to be put on the market and be put here in the MGM channel. So today we're going to do the countdown of the top five of the best free to play games first person shooters I've played. Oh, that was a mouthful of things. <laughs> And number five is Infestation New Z. Now, Infestations New Z has come a long way from the days of it being called War, uh, War Z. Um, to me, a long, long time ago, it used to be the like the, the cheap version of Daisy. A lot of my transactions back then was it wasn't the best. Let's say that, all right? It wasn't the best. But the thing is, with the with, between the new, uh, infestation of New Z and War Z, War Z, you had to pay a fair bit of cash to just get in the bloody game. Let alone having your uh, survivor survive. It's, it was ridiculous. But New Z got sold out to a company called Fanatics AB. I'm just gonna put it down. Just right in front of me. Uh, I can't pronounce the name, sorry. They made it better, really. Uh, they've added new maps. They, from now, I think they rebranded re the entire game. So they, they, they've redone the entire game. They've added new monsters, zombies, dogs, and other things. Not a bad little game, I must say. And for a free play to play game, it might, it might be interesting. There's tons and tons of weapons, attachments, and other things to craft, so... And they've even added base building. That's how... That's pretty cool. Go and have a look and see what you can think of it. And now we're coming up at number four, Unfortunate Spaceman. Unfortunate Spaceman is a co-op multiplayer game about ship shaping space-based murder and betrayal. So it's... You know, think of it uh, amongst us, um, but first person. And while you guys have to try and get stuff sorted, there's someone in the ship that could be a monster. And if you do see him, far away at him. Uh, they've added loads of different types of game modes as well now recently. But the customization is pretty cool. Let's save an example. Isaac Newton from Dead Space character. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's, 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 a worth of, it, it's a fun game. It's worth checking out uh, if you've got time. Now we're coming down to number three. Now, this was a tough one because uh, I think everyone knows this game and it's still today updating constantly and it's still quite popular. Heroes and Generals is a free to play large scale multiplayer shooter experience which has constant and endless battles. So think of Battlefield, but a cheap version would say. Um, some of the stuff is pretty grindy, I must say, and I wish they, it didn't make it too grindy, but once you get a machine gun and whatever you need, it is an absolute wonderful game. And I had a lot of fun, even when I haven't even paid for anything, I still had great fun. Uh, there's, there's weapons to upgrade, there's weapons to repair, there are vehicles to buy, there are planes to buy, even planes, they've added planes. That's, that, that's another cool thing, planes. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, it, I've, I've had a laugh on it. And if you've got the right team, uh, you, you know, you can probably succeed and take on a piece of the world, which faction of people have taken places, which is all right. The game is fun. I, I've had a laugh on it. And I, I think you should try it out. Go give it a try. And now we're coming up to number two. And this game, I, I, it's, it's, it's a good game to my heart, but there needs to be a lot of work done still. And that game is Will to Live Online. Now, Will to Live Online is an MMO survival daisy style quest finding first person shooter game. Picture this game Stalker, but online. But uh, quite polished. It's, it is quite polished. However, I must say the PvP is a bit. Nah, not, not the greatest, but the entire story, the. the exploration the monsters the pve side of it is absolutely incredible um if if you're a hardcore shooter fan then you'll you may like will to live uh currently nothing really is microtransit you don't need to have a microtransit there are premium accounts but 
you know, I, I've been playing the game without the premium counts and I've got to like level 25, which is fine. And as I said, it, it's a good laugh. And there are many, many servers, and these some of these servers you can play where you can go for the game without PvPing, or you can PvP your choice. So traveling to different areas is, yeah, it's quite long. Um, there are many, many guns and items to find, and you can take it back to the city or your camp to sell it and earn money. So a lot of scavenging, a lot of missions. Uh, what's there to not love about it? And now the number one of games I've enjoyed this year is The Psycho. Oh, yes, I like this game. The game is really, really good. Before we say anything, um, I'm glad I put this up front. I don't regret it. It's, it's a good game. It's a very good game. The Psycho is a free multiplayer first person shooter. Now the game is PvP and PvE, but you're a person called The Prospector and you you literally go on this planet and you have to you have to do contracts for your con uh, for your faction you can pick any faction you want in each round so it, it's okay but every time you get off that island in one piece and do amount of um stuff for the faction they pay you so you can use that money to go into the uh go into the space station to change your weapons and upgrade them yeah, the, the, and you know what, there, there's no problems with it, however, the game keeps constantly updating and it's constantly nerfing and buffing weapons and changing things, changing the way the game plays, like the cycle of things. <laughs> the cycle, yes! But one day they will stop changing it and finally get down to business, because it's a great game still, it really is, and the... There is no like heavy microtransactions. The only thing that are microtransactions itself is the vanity stuff. And the season pass is pretty much worth it because it goes on for a while. So at least you can get everything and it's all skins. And this is one of the top games I would recommend you guys just to have a go. It's free to play for crying out loud. Just give it a try. You'll enjoy yourself. my top five of, the, of this year's free to play games I've played. I hope you did enjoy this video. There's going to be more top fives of other get content. There's also going to be new reviews because I know there's one game it's going to get reviewed. I want to do a big, I want to say a big welcome and a big shout to Indie Direct who did one of his videos on his last videos. Make sure you check that out. It's pretty cool. I like the look of it. I might even get it myself. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the MGM channel. We're going to do this. We're going to make this active and every week you're gonna get amazing content so i will see you guys soon you take care and have a wonderful day i'm going to take a walk because as you can see behind me it's very sunny cheers and goodbye